how do you describe the country style now? Um, I think it's c- country is now hipster because of Yellowstone. Right on. I mean, there's the number one Halloween costume last year was Rip. Wow. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Welcome to SalinaRadio.com, recorded right here in Salina, Texas, a quiet little dusty, sleepy town that has absolutely nothing going on. You probably recognize this background music, and the reason that you would recognize this background music is because that's Coffee Anderson. And Coffee is a local celebrity. His reach goes well beyond Salina and Prosper, Texas, though. He's on Netflix. He's at the Grand Ole Opry. Coffee Anderson is taking America by storm. But you know what? Cafe is not taking America by himself. He has an amazing wife right by his side named Chrisella, who is very famous in her own right. That's right, she's danced with some of the biggest names in entertainment. And the really awesome thing is when you put these two together, Cafe and Chrisella, with their love of God and of country, and of Salina and Prosper, Texas, you've got an amazing combination. It was a wild and awesome ride. So sit back and listen to this episode with Cafe Anderson and his wife, Priscilla. All right, guys, I'm here right now with somebody that you're just going to be absolutely in love with. I'm already a huge fan. I was before today. And you would know him from a Netflix series. You'd know him from a concert that he's been promoting lately. He's all over YouTube. He's on social media. He is literally everywhere. His name is Cafe Anderson. What's going on? How are you doing today? Good, man. I'm great. Thank very, you for having me, brother. Good. And, you, and, and I see that uh, your, your balance in life is here. So, Chris Sella, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Very, very, very good. So, I, I just want to start off right off the bat with, let's talk about this thing that you've got going this Saturday. What? Tell me about this thing. Freedom Fest is a all-day music festival with games, food. We have food trucks. We have a car show from 10 to 1. It's going to be at the Roller Town, the parking lot next to Roller Town, but storage in downtown Salina, Texas. And so, 10 a.m. to 1, car show. 1 o'clock to 6 is going to be games, food, and it's something for the whole family. 6 o'clock to about 9.30 is the concert. It's live bands, it's music, it's DJ. And um, because I didn't, there are certain companies that live, like Live Nation, they own a lot of music venues. Uh, CAA, a lot of William Morris. We own our own booking agency with my country music company. So if you don't have certain stipulations that you have to go through, if there's not certain medical freedoms that you don't do, a lot of times you can't play those venues. So I started Freedom Fest last year. So this is our second annual Freedom Fest. And it's honestly just a way for me to have my own show, to headline my own concert, and to also highlight our first responders. So there's going to be a fire truck there with our firemen from local. We're going to have a a police car tour with some officers there. We're normalizing and letting people realize that our cops, our firemen, our nurses, our doctors, they are everyday people that choose to be superheroes. And and as a long time now retired police officer, right. let me just say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for what you're doing. It's amazing. The it's a very underappreciated job. Absolutely. And you know, you carry stuff from that job with you for the rest of your life. Like There's it things never you goes can, you away. Can, you can't unsee. Absolutely. And so for someone like you to take your status and to recognize someone like me with, with no status, that's that's amazing. So 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 God bless you for that and, and just understand that we appreciate that more than you can possibly know. It's it's truly amazing. So thank you. Oh man, I'm I'm honored to do it. It's so the and the show's gonna be great. It is a my performance is gonna be a ninety minute 
high energy, family friendly country music show with cold beer, good wine, and, and patriotism. So, I, from what I've seen, you don't really do anything that's not high energy. I mean, that's that's yeah. that's you, right? I mean, isn't that just who you are? I have to be calmed down daily. <laughs> he lays on the couch with high energy. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, now you've got some, Chrisella. You've got some history. You were a professional dancer. Mm-hmm. You're still, still is. doing that. Yes. So, so tell me about that. What do you have going on? So um, my history goes back. I We just moved here from L.A. almost two years ago. And I've danced for Britney Spears, Snoop Dogg, Rihanna, Hannah Montana, Alvin and the Chipmunks, the movie. Uh, She's in Hannah Montana, the movie. Yep. And Alvin and the Chipmunks 1 and 4. And I currently choreograph for the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. And so I'm currently teaching master classes all around the DFW area. And once a month, I teach at All Out Dance Academy in Prosper. Well, so I have to know, it's a, it's a critical question. How did you guys meet? We met at church, actually. We did. Wow, really? Yeah. We That's met at church. very interesting. Tell me about it. Um, I was friends with one of her best friend's husbands. And uh, I was in church, and then his wife... His name, her name is Kelly. She came up and she was like, "You need to meet my friend." Well, he was actually up at the front asking for forgiveness. <laughs> and she the wanted a man that sins. <laughs> she wanted a man that sins and had a past. You know, and so we actually ended up meeting after church. That's funny. Thank you. And uh, I stalked her, right, for about two weeks, and then okay. she finally wanted to eat. Right. We went to Jerry's Deli on Ventura Boulevard, and I said, "I need French toast, bacon." cheese eggs, a side of fruit, a orange juice, and a water. And she said, same. <laughs> and I went, oh, a woman that eats in L.A. County. And you know, in love. Well, right? absolutely. The yeah. rest of them, they'll, you know, drink, you know, gr- a grape seed water. Right, and right, like, right. I'm good for the week. You're like, what? And not only did I eat every <laughs> bite, but I ate it faster than you. She eats like uh, a fireman. It, it's truck driver esque. I've never seen anything like it. How in the is it? Is it all the dancing? How in the world do you stay in such great shape? Right. If you cannot eat cafe. Well, usually I'm very careful with what I eat, but uh-huh. that day I, I she was... doesn't eat more than me. She eats faster than me. Right. And so tell me, <laughs> at this point in time in your life, were you already established with your with your career with singing, or was that still an up and coming thing at this point? I, I was still up and coming in some ways. Mm-hmm. Um, I was street performing, right? So mm-hmm. I guess that's up and coming. Yeah, yeah, I got you. So you, so you didn't come up here and say, "Hey, by the way, I've got a Netflix show, and I'm this and that. And I'm going to be somebody amazing." You, no. you, you want to rover strictly on who you are, on 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 manners and love and honor. And I wow. think our sec, our first date, she was filming with Kelly Rowland, who was from Destiny's Child, and I went on the set, <laughs> and I was like, "Hi," and I was like, "Oh, that's Beyonce's mom. There's wow. Kelly." Wow. Hi, Crisella. And I think, but I, I wasn't after the lifestyle. Uh-huh. I was more interested in her, and it was the same. Right. I think both of us have been around fame and been popular long enough to know that we wanted something real. Right. We wanted something lasting, and we knew what we wanted in, our, in each other. Very, very nice. And so through a, a series She just of happens it? to be really hot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you, babe. You're welcome. You guys I'm, have I'm great, flattered he still feels that way. You have, a, you have a great energy between the two of you, and you can see that even when you're here. So you walk in, Kathy's trying to order smoothies, and there's this little back and forth over it, and it, it's just awesome. So you guys have the chemistry, and, and somehow through all of the turn of events, you found your way to Salina slash Prosper. Tell me... How do we make that journey here? That journey started when she was in high school. Well, Well, yes. Okay. So I have a best friend that lives out here in Prosper. Okay. Her name is Charmaine. And we went to high school together and we would come visit her. And Cafe always talked about moving to Texas. In fact, we actually tried it. We moved to Mansfield back in... 2012 we lasted three months bro we were there 87 days we signed a one-year lease we were there 87 days but i made friends with the guy that managed the house right he was like bro i love you man go get out of here yeah it's this just ain't not, for you. Not, yeah not it wasn't for us and right? and i had just had my first child so i was in that place of trying to find my balance between who i was and being a mom right and we came out here and i was not ready for it so we went back but I knew that 
California was getting pretty bad. And once COVID hit and the kids couldn't go to school and I was fighting with my children every day mm-hmm. to do their work, right, right. I said we had to, something had to change. So we found out that, um, you know, Prosper was growing and new homes were being built and we, we just decided and 80% to build. of my business was here. I was flying from California to Texas to sing almost every week. Wow. We actually have a few friends that moved with us, I want to say, mm-hmm. within weeks. We probably right. brought and that helped 10 people. with the with wow. the you know change. Sure. So we felt like we had community, instant community. Oh, yeah. And it was like mindedness. And that's major for people with children, you know, when he's traveling. So I'm like, I need my people, you know. And oh, absolutely. So that was super helpful. And we love, 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 love it. Our area. Here. So you're there. This isn't, and I'm not. I'm not hating on Mansfield, but this no. is not Mansfield. This no. is very, very different. Very different. And we are so happy here, and we're not going anywhere. So talk to me about like what is it about it? For some people, it's the small town feel. For some people, it's the, you know, the the the, the sense of community. What is it that makes Salina slash Prosper this area so amazing for you guys? I love the peace. I love that it's not congested. I love that things are convenient, but I'm so accessible to the city and all the things that I need in a city. I'm a city girl. I grew up in Las Vegas, (laughs) moved to LA, okay? And I'm a beach girl. That's the only thing I'm missing is the beach. Right, right. Um, But I do love the small town vibe. Everybody is so kind, comes together, and... I still have the city right there across the street. (laughs) Absolutely. I like that it's a little town, but everybody here has big city outlook on growth, capitalism, money, the area. How do we keep the small town heart, but still accommodate the people that are moving in? How do we capitalize on that? How do we build something that's going to last for later? Right on. That's special. And that's not in every area. You're recognized probably everywhere you go. Yeah. How 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 do the people here interact with you? Since you're you're a local celebrity, you're a, you're a, you're a national celebrity. Mm. How what's your interaction with the people who live here? Um, I think a lot of them just come up, shake hands. Man, we're glad you're here. Right on. Love what y'all are doing. Yep. Good to see you. If you need anything, this is what I do. This is. I think it's just welcoming. Very good. It, um, is, it is definitely welcoming. Awesome. You know there are areas and there's times when people fangirl and that's great because that means you're doing what you need to be doing (laughs) it means you're good at what you do 100 percent. people to love you and care about you right you know and i'd rather them come up and shake my hand and say oh my gosh i want a picture right now oh my goodness we love you guys versus (sighs) but i I also think there's i also think there's a sense of protection here too i think the people know we live here and they're not running around broadcasting that we live over we feel safe i love and that. i love that yeah yeah that's amazing they're very protective of us and our children and our situations and everything yeah. so yeah. I, love, I love every bit of that so i'm curious a little bit of background like how in the world did you decide country music there's so many genres out there you could right. have done anything differently what 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 led you or inspired you to become a country music star i think my granddad sang gospel music in the chitlin circuit Mm-hmm. And so the Chitlin Circuit, for those of you that don't know, it's where black performers, the venues that they could play. A lot of times they didn't get paid, but they would give them a plate of food and the plate would be Chitlins or no something. Kidding. So they called the Chitlin Circuit. Wow. So my granddad sang with Sam Cooke, rest in peace. He sang with um, the Mighty Clouds of Joy and Lost the Soul Stirs, gospel quartets. It's kind of the battle of the voices. Right. So my mother was one of 13. And so wow. all of them can sing and play. Right. So I grew up hearing gospel music. I sneak off to the Brown County Fair and Rodeo. Really? With Candy Miller. Right. Okay. Candy Miller was the homie. Wasn't a girlfriend, I'm a friend. <laughs> okay. So I get in daddy's truck. Uh-huh. I put on a brush popper like an old Garth. Br- Did have the wings that buttoned down. Yep. Horrible. Yep. Wranglers, way too tight. Um, got my boots on. I walk into the barn. By the time I walk from the truck to the barn, I got my behind pinch five times. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Like country girls pinch you if they think you're cute. They don't. They just pinch it. Didn't know that was a thing. So now I'm I'm walking around like you know I'm fighting mosquitoes. Like move, woman, get off. We get to the barn. There's a guy singing "Hey, Good Looking" on a gooseneck flatbed trailer. There's a thousand people in this feed barn. Hey, good looking. Hurt you got cooking. How about cooking something up with me? And he is. 
the place is going nuts. Right, right. And I get chills talking about it. So I'm looking at the dust and the sawdust come up. The lights, it looks like smoke. The band is jamming. People are going nuts. And I'm like, these are my people. Right on. I like this. And that bug never left. I get you, Look at this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's still, it, it, yeah, it's all within you. It's, so it's, having that gospel voice with that feel, and I still like singing in small wooden venues. Right. Even though we're huge now. Right. I still, the Grand Ole Opry, which is insane. I made my Opry debut May 3rd. I still like those types of places. Right on. Because that's where I first found it. Guys, I hope you're enjoying this episode of SolinaRadio.com. And while talking to Cafe and Chrisella is absolutely incredible and such a blessing to me, such a blessing to the community, just move all of the celebrity stuff aside and realize that these two people are just absolutely amazing and genuine people. I mean, I just don't even know how to tell you how authentic and how real they are. So for a country singer who's just rubbing shoulders with some of the biggest names in country music and a dancer who has danced with some of the biggest names in the business... And now they're right here in Salina, Texas. It's just, it's a testament to where we live. It's Salina, baby, and it's amazing. These are two amazing people. I hope you're loving getting that same connection that I got from them. And I hope that, I just hope that they have continued amazing success together. They've got an incredible family and a blessed future. So guys, let's get back to the rest of this episode with Cafe and Chrisilla Anderson. Is your life, is your world, is your career, is your relationship, is this a God thing? I, I, I think it is. I think that we, if I would have married anyone else, I wouldn't be here. You wouldn't I, be here. I wouldn't be here. I think she has pushed me to be great, to be perfect. To She's always been a devil advocate on records on, what if you sound like this? Or I, And we were honest with each other. We made a point to be honest when it comes to what we create. Right. Is this choreography good? Eh, I didn't like that. Gotcha. Or you've done better. Or is this song good? Eh, it doesn't do this. Or when you say that, it comes across this way. Right. And that's not who we are. Right. So I think if I would have married anyone else, I would not have been as good as I am now. I understand. I feel like I've seen being a dancer and being with lots of artists, you see artists fall because there's no one around them holding accountability. Right. It's almost like they say yes to whatever they want to mm-hmm. do. And you're not going to succeed that way. And so with us... I think knowing that we can be honest because no one else is going to be as honest as we are with each other, that's going to make us stronger. I like it. And so I saw a recent video that you guys did and you, you, you got him out there dancing and he could dance really well. I was impressed. Oh, the BB Rexa. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. And you guys, I mean, you just, I love that. I mean, there's no, I'm not a dancer, <laughs> but you did, no. uh, mate, you did well. You did awesome. Really, 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 really when you well. go to her dance class and you see, or you go to LA and you see dancers, you're like, right. I'm a groover and I'm black. So I got rhythm. It's just in me. I, I'm a, I can groove on beat. Dancing, something different. I got you, Will. And it took me six months to do that 15 no, seconds. No, it didn't. It took you a day. And I think we need to make another one. And to someone like myself who, who doesn't, wouldn't know, you know, that was amazing. It was Thank fantastic. You, so, but I'm curious, can you sing Chrisella? No, not in the slightest, not even a tiny Tell bit. Tell me about her singing. Describe it for me. I need her to sing more. I don't care if anyone can sing good or bad. I just want people to sing to me. No one sings to me. I sing to <laughs> everyone else. And 
I can't even sing happy birthday. Like if I'm holding a camera <laughs> videoing us singing happy birthday to someone, I'm putting out my mouth away from the mic. True. Right. Okay? True. Right. True. I mean, it's very it's cat tragic. scratch. It's tragic. Um, <laughs> milk jug, wasting. <laughs> like, you know, like when milk is just coming out. That, no, oh that, there's goodness. a lot of that. It's odd, and you're and you're not and you're not getting punched right now. So that's... no, because I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we made a pact to speak truth. We we said I, that we I just like told it. you this. I like it. I like it. And and here it is, rolling out right in front of me. The truth without consequence. I like it. <laughs> that's good stuff. So, Chrisella, what's what's a secret to a to a happy marriage? Obviously, you're in a unique situation because you're. A celebrity. He's a celebrity. How do you make it work? What's the secret? I don't know that there's a secret, but I will say honesty and communication. And I know it sounds so cliche because you hear it all the time. But when I say communication, I don't just mean tell each other everything. I mean, learn how people listen to you. Learn how you speak. Learn how it's portrayed. Tone. Everything. Communication and being able to speak to each other in a loving manner. Like, even when you're in a bad mood. Right. Literally learning how to talk to each other and consistently chase each other's heart. I love that. Yeah. That's amazing. You're so blessed to have this. I mean, she clearly loves you and Thank you, man. And and it's not because of the celebrity. She loves you. I think she'd love you if you couldn't sing one 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 part of a song. Right. right. I agree with that. So I think that's amazing. So I am gorgeous though. <laughs> and <laughs> Um, funny. There's a there's a lot here. Okay? There is. You you offer an awful lot. It's, it's a this is a charcuterie board for women. You know what I mean? And she won. And so the whole charcuterie board is hers. So the jelly, the honey. Is it a whole thing? Just keep it going, babe. There keep you going. Go. The you prunes. Go. You're welcome. The prunes. Oh, gosh. That's fantastic. So since you guys have such good energy and sense on Salina Radio, we tend to do something kind of fun. I want to do a little bit of kind of a variation of, say, newlywed dating game kind of deal. See how well you know each other. Okay? Oh, here we go. And the, the way. The truth there shall you go. come. So what will happen is I'll, I'll ask something. And we're going to be 100, too. Okay. <laughs> let's, 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 see, let's see if that works. And, uh, let's all, see my, all the listeners, lean in. <laughs> this, is, this is about to get. <laughs> okay. All right, Coffee. I'm going to ask you this question, and then you're going to have to say, Chrisella, you're going to have to say, yes, you're right, or honey, you are way off, okay? okay? All right, Coffee. If, if Chrisella could access any store at any time. Target. <laughs> What you talking about? Okay. And what do you say, Chriselle? Yes or no? Okay. I have an explanation <laughs> for this. It was Target for okay. a very long time. Home okay. Goods. Okay. Now it's Amazon. Oh, God. I'm not trying to leave oh. my house, okay? Wow. True. Okay. True. All right. Okay. Very good. True. Uh, so, all right, Chriselle, this one's for you. Okay. What is Cafe's favorite comfort food? Well, he loves food. <laughs> I, I, I kind of caught that earlier when he was given that list of... Okay, well, we got in and out Okay. This is probably his favorite fast food. Nice. Okay. Um, home cooking would probably be ribs, barbecue, all that kind of stuff. And fine dining would be like a steakhouse, like nice steak. Nice. Okay. Tell me. She nailed it or she missed the Halfway. mark? Halfway. I, Seriously, I, I think halfway. I think because wow. I grew up Cajun food. Oh, so home cooked my. is right, one hundred percent. Oh, Cajun and barbecue is the same thing. No, <laughs> oh, see, see, see why city folks and country <laughs> folks should not marry. You say you're California <laughs> shilling you, you, you know, wow. It literally is the same. No, oh my gosh, it's southern stuff. We are losing and fans. It's bad you have so many people on it's your side. It's calories and fat. You have okay? so many people on your side. Oh you said my. that, and you've divided wow. all of North Texas. Wow! There you go. See what oh I did? My with? Goodness! See what I did? With? Pray for me. Wow! <laughs> Pray for me. Stretch your hands towards your towards your, your phone right now, Father. In the Ooh, name, we need the community to join in oh. yes, right yes. now. Yes. Lord, please yes. show this woman the difference. Was I right on the fast food? Was I right on fast food? A burger place is absolutely in and out. In and out. I'm a Taco Bell guy, but they stopped using meat. Oh, ouch! They stopped using meat. So cardboard shavings that look like meat, you can't do. It. <laughs> <laughs> if 
if I wanted to eat a cereal box, I would do that Taco Bell. Right on. Upgrade. There you go. There but you yeah, go. in and out, and now Taco Bueno was kind of. I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you. So if you if you're not digging the Taco Bell, can you swing with a little Taco Bueno? Bueno's on off, off the chain. If I right could on. eat meat like that, I uh-huh. would, I would enjoy Taco Bueno. Right on. Bueno's good. They yep. have good salsa, good chips. Yep, yep. And and the problem is in and out. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> in a box with a lid. <sighs> this is how I order in a box with a lid. Wow. Is your back hurting? Why are you leaning? Mm- because I have to talk into the mic. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's, he's worried about Mustard you. instead of the spread. Ooh, See, I got really? you. Mustard instead of the spread. See, she knows you. She Kay. knows you. I like it. So what, That's why we have to stay married, because it would take too long to train a new one. Uh, 100%. Yeah, you'd never... Yeah, it'd take you three years just to get that right I, there. I don't want that. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm just going to put up with what she needs. Right on. Which is talk soft. Right. Be thoughtful. Right. Um... What's that other Don't thing? Don't tell me I spend too much. <laughs> Don't say it in front of people. I'm going to say it. Don't ever tell oh me that. Oh, my okay? gosh. I like and, it. Uh, I like it. So, so if she goes to in and out she knows how to order all that stuff. And I'm going to ask you this, and then he's got to confirm or deny. Okay. What's, what's his drink? Uh, Dr. Pepper or Coke. Okay. Talk to Dr. me. Dr. Pepper with lemon. I'm diet. Dr. Pe- I want all the diet. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you on that one. Ew. Dr. Pepper And he can't do lemon. it. Dr. Pepper with lemon. What in the world? And you know what's crazy? If I drink a soda, I I will open the lid uh-huh. and put it in the refrigerator to make it get flat. It's what so gross. in the world? I don't what? want any bubbles. I want Dr. Pepper Kool Aid. <laughs> Insert whatever ethnic, <laughs> ethnic joke you want. I need Dr. Pepper Kool Aid, Coke Kool Aid, Sprite Kool Aid. I don't want any bubbles. Oh man, that See, is crazy. See, and I live for the carbonation. Uh, absolutely, it's the whole reason you drink it, right? Man, I need a diet. Coke oh right man, I know where you guys are going to go on your way out of here. <laughs> So, all right, uh, Chrisella, I'm gonna put you back on the uh, put you back on the hot on the on the hot seat here. Okay. Okay. Um, on your first official date, mm-hmm. okay, whatever that means, we don't really know. Okay. Who was he wearing? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, he can't get it wrong then. <laughs> I don't think he has any idea either. Yeah, I don't know. Do you? Light blue denim shirt, pearl snaps, black Good. cowboy hat. You were oh, not wearing man. a button. Listen to that. You were 100% in a t-shirt. <laughs> I have a picture from my first date. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's see how we handle this. That picture was not our first date. It, I wasn't girl jeans, but that's that's okay. He did <laughs> used to wear girl jeans. Okay, what? Yes. I, first of all, I have a 38-inch inseam, right. 32 waist. Okay, all right. There's so that's no, just there was no common... guy jeans at that point. You're right, right. That's just... Just, they weren't bedazzled on the, on the butt like... <laughs> Like Luke Bryan wears them. I'm not wearing bedazzled pants. Wow. That's a little scary. I'm shaped like my mama. He just bedazzles his belt and his guitar strap. But that's good. And that's good. He's got this whole image thing. That's boy going. stuff. Yeah. That's in. I couldn't do the other, though. Girl jeans with the pockets done? No. No. Yeah, not so that's, much. They can keep that. Oh, I've secretly thrown stuff of his away without him Have knowing. you really? It's not a secret. Yeah. Um, so he does actually know. It's not a secret. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. So 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 you were kinda hating on the Garth Brooks. You know, back in the day that, that whole popper shirt and all that stuff was That was a lot. That was the rocking thing back then. It was a lot. But it's not now. How do you describe how do you describe the country style now? Um, I think it's c- country is now hipster because of Yellowstone. Right on. I mean, there's the number one Halloween costume last year was Rip. Wow. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. B- black glasses, dark jacket, black hat, jeans. It, it was real. Right on. Right on. So what's? Uh, tell me. You brought it up, Chrisella. Tell me what what's the what's the biggest appeal about Rip? What is it? Is it the way he looks? Um, his attitude? His I think it's his attitude. It's his personality, and he doesn't. I D G A F. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't give up. Yeah. Yep. I got a little sensor button. I can use it. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. So, yeah. So, y'all are Yellowstone fans? Yes. Watch oh, it. yes. We binged like three seasons in a row because I, nice. I just started watching it last year. Right on. And I am obsessed. Isn't it amazing? It's so good. That's it's, what made me want to go out and buy land. I didn't appreciate land until I watched Yellowstone. <laughs> That's the reason why all the Californians are moving here. Thank you, Taylor Sheridan, for writing such a good show. 
Oh, man. And now they're here. That's we have yoga awesome. and brisket because of Yellowstone. <laughs> A kind of, yeah, it's like fusion now, right? Fusion is everything. Fusion and music, fusion and food. Fusion is everything. Fusion. Umami. There you go. Umami. It's kind of the thing right now, right? Okay, put him in the hot seat. Because <laughs> she talked about her love for rip. I get it. It's okay. Okay, so so if if you could take over one task for her, it could be a chore, it could be a thing that she routinely has to do, one thing that it's going to become your thing now, what's the one thing she'd say that you, she I, wants you to take I, over? I'd choreograph for the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. No. Ooh. Absolutely. It would be laundry. <laughs> I, I, he, he There's asked a me. huge difference Hush, there. hush. He asked me. It's my turn. It's my turn. I can handle that. Oh my goodness. I'm good too. <laughs> I think it's not. I think this is more of a cafe wants to take that right. over. Exactly. So you go you go watch some rip episodes. So I know what over. kind of choreography they really need. <laughs> I know what kind of choreography will sell out. tickets. Get out. Oh man. <laughs> You're fired. That is insane. That is that is crazy. All right, Chris Sella, so you are back in the hot seat, so to speak, and I'm just curious. If, if he goes out today, and I don't know if he does scratch-offs and stuff like that, but let's just say he picks one up. Okay. And he hits $50,000. Mm. First of all, does he tell you he got it? Yes. Second of all, what does he do with the fifty grand he just got? What's, what's, what's something he would spend that money on, a guilty pleasure of his? What would he come home with? A Rolls Royce. Wow. <laughs> wow. Is that right? Absolutely. <laughs> Rolls Royce ghost. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Powder blue oyster white leather interior. <laughs> but he hasn't thought of this or anything. I already bought one. Is that right? Talk to me about this. But it sat. It was like taking up space. Yeah, yeah. it rained a lot. It was winter. It wasn't the I right time. I told him time. to get rid of it. <laughs> so, so, so it's gone now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I, I, I sense that I shouldn't ask much more about. No, you can. This. Would you get that again, or would you get something else? I get a McLaren. Wow. Oh, okay. I like McLaren. McLaren. Something you and I can go on date night, but it's fun. It's sexy. It's very fast. Will I fit? If Will I fit, you, you fit. The McLaren I can fit in. The Chevy Corvette I can't. Yeah, that's that's the tough. Can't do that. Yeah. You don't want a Corvette. And, and, oh, yeah, and you don't. You don't strike me as a Corvette. Guy. That's no. a midlife no, crisis car. That, I'm, yeah, I'm not just, a Corvette guy. But yeah. the Ferrari 488, I can fit in. Right on. So we're gonna see that soon. Mm, maybe. Yeah. Saw a matte white one. I bought passed out. So what you buying me with that fifty grand? <laughs> huh? What you buying me with that fifty grand? Uh, you spend it on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a four thousand dollar couch delivered to my house this morning. Really, I'm not listening to what she has to say right now. Hey, that's cheap for a couch. <laughs> oh no, oh, I've seen man. them up there. Oh man. Next question. Save my oh, marriage. Man. Save my well, marriage. Let me, let me just say, I can relate in in the sense that I literally can walk out my front door on any given day, and it looks like somebody built a fort out of Amazon boxes. Okay, listen, I can go to Target and you won't see anything I buy. <laughs> Or I can get it on Amazon and you just happen to see every item individually packaged. Next, Fine. next, next question. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Right. You're just seeing it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pop back over to Cafe here and I'm going to ask him this one. So if, if you could cast her to be a star in any movie that's already been or maybe that hasn't been Cinderella. made. Okay. And what do you say, Crisella? Cinderella. Pretty good. What? Cinderella, Cinderella, oh. night and day at Cinderella. Absolutely. That was my favorite Disney uh, princess. Very, very look good. At her. Yeah. Thanks, and she's babe. happy. She's happy. Right. She likes that answer. Right. And she's OCD, so my house is constantly clean, and Cinderella was great at yeah, keeping a home. I can do both. I can be a princess and a maid at the same time. Yeah. Well, that's impressive. <laughs> I like it. Crazy, you guys right? clearly have a fantastic relationship, and I know you've got a super, super tight schedule. You guys are amazing for sitting down with me. We've got a, we've got a ton of fans out there. You Thank guys you. are you're on your Thank way you. up in every single way. Thank and you. Even if you didn't have the celebrity stuff, if you weren't the celebrity dancer and, and the, the the country music star. You guys would still be amazing. So Aww, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so for having let's, us. Let's remind everybody real quick. I want to be sure that we get a lot of people out there for your event. September 10th, September 10th, this Saturday, September 10th, Freedom Fest is going to be in Salina. 
we actually partnered with the city, fencing, fire department, um, LEOs, everybody. We literally partnered to make this hopefully something that we can do here for many years to come. It is a completely family-friendly music festival, food, the whole nine. Starts at 10 a.m. and music starts at 6 p.m., goes till about 9.30 and so I, I make it that way on purpose because I know <laughs> that, that if you have your kids, you don't want, I want you to enjoy. Right kids on. start to melt down. I don't care who Absolutely. you are. They melt down. Mine do. Right on. But there and are so, a lot of kids coming. There are a lot of kids coming, and I want them, I want them to. I, they need to see celebrities and stars speak up for believing in God. They need to see celebrities speaking up for the greatest country on earth, the greatest state in the union. We won't stop talking about faith, family, freedom, or the ability to defend all those three. I am I am so honored to 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 have you sitting here talking like this and 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 just quickly your connection to law enforcement and military right. was through your dad. Right. My dad Stanley Anderson um, served in the US Air Force and he also worked in law enforcement for 17 years Texas Youth Commission in Brownwood, Texas. And um, we have a lot of friends that have served. Uh, my best friend James Parton served as well, and he's retiring this year. Right on. And for for 20 years of serving our country, and it's a good dude. Just at 25 years, he went in at 18, 43, he'll get out. Wow. So 25 years serving, and it's just middle America. They're they're the ones that send their kids, not the Ivy League, not right. any of those, not the upper crust. And so my crowd is middle America. It's the blue collar mom and dad. It's the school teacher that has two boys, and one of them goes to serve. Right on. So, and and his show is one of the few shows nowadays that kids and parents can go to together. It which is, is all the more amazing. It's clean. Yeah, we have a clean show. It's such a fun show, and I'm not it. saying that as the biased wife. No, no, okay, no, 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 like no, you're seriously, right. it is. He is very entertaining on stage. It is an incredible. He's full of energy. Show. His yeah. his music has message. Mm-hmm. You guys have incredible energy. You guys are just. You've got everything right. Um, we also have a reality show on Netflix called Country Ever After. It is 12 episodes. We created the show with Roma Downey, okay. who was the angel in Touch by right, an Angel. Right. And Mark Burnett. And she married um, a guy named Mark Burnett. He created a little show called Shark Tank. Another one called Survivor. <laughs> just those small ones, right? Another one called The Voice. Right, right. Just little, little small. <laughs> you may watch them one day when they go big. But um, Country Ever After is a show that talks about faith, family, and freedom. And... Mm-hmm. A lot of reality shows, they want to highlight the drama. We didn't do that. Right. We make the big things little. Right. We make the little things big. And we try to keep the Lord in the middle of all of it. Yes. And and I think that that's why you're enjoying the success you are and, and going and loving and living like you are. You've Thank got the, you. You've got, you've got God at the middle of everything. So it's amazing. Guys, thank, thank you, you so, that, so so much for that. And I wa- I'm going to give you one last task, Priscilla, okay. uh, going out of here. You got more marriage questions? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Keep him in line, okay? Uh, thank oh, you. Thank you. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. She's the only one that can. Thank you all for listening. Thank you for your support. Thank you for yes, having us. thank you so much. Yeah, man, this was great. So what did you think about that? Was that not the best time ever? I know we were walking all over each other in the microphones and sometimes it was hard to understand what somebody was saying, but it was authentic and real, just like they are. And here's the truth. I am constantly blessed by the best guest on SalinaRadio.com. I have literally the best the very, very best people sit down with me and spend time. And I just don't understand why I'm so blessed to be able to do that. But but I'm very, very grateful for it. I'm grateful for you, the listener, and all of the support that you give this podcast. The simple fact is that Cafe and Chrisilla, they didn't have to spend any time with me. He's out performing all over the country. He's on the Grand Ole Opry. They have a reality series on Netflix. She's dancing with Rihanna and Snoop Dogg and all of these fantastic entertainers. And yet somehow they find it in their heart to sit down with me 
in a little wood frame house in Salina, Texas, and share their story and their afternoon. So come see me this Saturday evening. Let's hang out with Cafe and his wife. Let's have a really, really good time at Freedom Fest and let's support this event. Let's support local. Let's support Salina, Texas. Let's be grateful for all of the blessings that is Salina, Texas. And guys, just like I always say, God bless and I'll see you on the next show. It's the guts and it's the glory A hundred stripes, a hundred stories It's the Pledge of Allegiance on the 4th of July It's them handwritten letters from home It's them sleepless nights alone It's his newborn baby he left with his wife Mr. 